today I'm going to show you guys 75 things that you definitely didn't know about GTA and if you knew even like a quarter of these you're a GTA genius. So keep track of how many you know and let's begin. With that being said let's hop into number one which I guarantee you guys didn't know that homing launchers actually have HDMI and VGA ports. When withdrawing money in GTA when you go on your phone and go to your banking app you can only withdraw up to a million dollars at a time. However when you go to an ATM you can withdraw 10x that and get 10 million dollars out at once you can actually spectate other players in gta by going to anywhere where you can sit on a couch and watch the tv all you got to do is just turn the tv on then where it says select channels just start scrolling eventually you'll get to a screen like this showing everyone in your lobby and if you just go through and start clicking on people you can watch and see what they're up to i'm surprised more people don't use this in your nightclub you have a janitor that you can actually go up to and tip a dollar at a time if you really want to and after enough time you can make him pretty rich for all the hard work he does keeping this bathroom sanitary coming over to this location on the map with a bike is super deadly if you try to go up these stairs just creep up yep you just die don't have no clue why you're not even safe to walk under them there's nothing you can do obviously you can rob a convenience store with pretty much any sort of weapon but did you know that you can even do with the snowball there's literally a snowball in my hand and this is enough to rob a convenience store I, I don't know man this little golf cart from the bunker is called the caddy and it's pretty cool but did you know you can actually take it out of the bunker all you have to do is just call agent 14 on your phone just request it wait a couple minutes not even and there you go you have the caddy in normal gta online when you're in the casino in gta 5 if you pull out your phone and just start taking a ton of pictures for no reason eventually they will kick you out also by the casino you might see a little weird patch of grass that if you try to walk through it's definitely a little glitchy but it also might even kill you when you come to this location on the map if you start watching the npcs driving you'll notice plenty of them have literally no clue how to drive in the center of the map in gta there is a massive crane that you can actually climb but it takes just about five minutes to climb the whole thing when the diamond casino heist first got released there was a glitch with gold where you could actually go up to it and duplicate it which would easily let you and just one other person make about three million dollars in a couple minutes in normal gta online once you get about 17 15 000, somewhere around that range feet away from the map your plane will crash and there's nothing you can do however that is not where the map ends because with mods you can actually go about 6.5 million feet away from the map you can actually rob a barber store by just kind of running in and jumping over the desk don't know why you can actually get and fly this vehicle it's called a skylift in normal gta online you're gonna need to call miss baker and get the job called one arm bandit which can take a minute but once you do get it all you have to do is do the mission as it tells you and part of it is to get this helicopter called the skylift to pick up a container and then you just complete the mission as normal and after you complete the mission it doesn't take the helicopter away from you so you can just have it your whole online session when you come to this location on the map with the lifeguard it will actually spawn in more lifeguard cars and you can actually take these and you can bring them to your garage and even keep them and make a whole garage out of them and these things are like 800 some thousand each so i don't know it's pretty cool when you go in water in gta your clothes will only get wet to where you walked up in the water to if that makes sense which is a small detail but most games don't care enough to add it these gas tanks that are around the map you don't have to shoot them to make fire come out you can actually just punch them and it, it works the same there's a player in gta that became a billionaire completely legit but it took them two years of playtime which if you do the math it comes out to something like six hours a day since the game's launch there are actually 1038 different missions in gta online you can actually do a little launch glitch with this arena car by just turning the engine on through your interaction menu then running and jumping onto the blade and it'll launch you it's, it's kind of fun this car is called a lost slam van which is one of the rarest cars in gta the only way to get it is from the mystery wheel which is like a one in twenty thousand chance i believe there's actually a really easy glitch by starting some vip work on franklin's house then just 
quitting the VIP work once you load in. It'll just put you in Franklin's house and you can go exploring. It's pretty cool. There's a glitch that lets you make this car in, well, so it can't get blown up, but I definitely can't show you guys how to do this one. When you go to your swap character screen, this number in the middle of this board that your character is holding is actually the amount of RP that you have. Obviously, you're only supposed to be able to spin the casino wheel once per day, but a little glitch of just resetting your wheel before the wheel finishes spinning will let you spin it as many times as a day as you want, and I actually got my car on the second try. You can get any color BMX bike by simply just clicking on the BMX bike, then make your way on over to Legendary and go to Z-Type. On the Z-Type, select the color of the BMX bike that you want, go to your search history, go back to the BMX website, order the BMX, and it'll come in whatever color you just ordered. These random cans that you'll see on highways and other places are actually filled with water and a lot of it. If you come on over to this location and kind of hide in this like glass thing, I guess, you can't get punched or shot, so this is probably the best place to survive a five-star wanted level. You can create a kind of tsunami, I guess, by throwing a ton of sticky bombs in the same place, then detonating them all. You can actually get some invisible car parts on a couple separate cars, one of them being the rat loader by just going to truck beds scrolling through all the options and just landing on stock and it just gives you an invisible truck bed you can actually fly the massive planes by bookmarking this job right here then you just start it up and play it as normal and once you get in for some reason this job just lets you drive these massive planes and it's actually really fun by coming to this location right here with the box truck you can actually get in the back of it by putting it right over this little whatever you want to call it and you just get underneath climb up the ladder and there you go you are in the back of a box truck you can do it whatever you want man have some fun this entity xf actually has a speed glitch that you can do pretty easily that i hit my top speed in which is like 315 miles an hour when christmas comes around you'll probably see these christmas trees around and if you look closely on the presents they actually are all branded in the rockstar logo coming to this location on the map there's actually a secret mine that you can find and go exploring you can use the first link in my bio to buy yourself a modded gta account with 7.4 billion dollars on in a ton of modded outfits and you can even use code pizza at checkout to save 10 percent in the past and i'm sure in the future there's a ton of glitches that let you put f1 wheels on normal cars and honestly you can make some pretty good looking cars with this the grenade launcher in gta fires rather slow but when you're in cover and try to use it it actually rapid fires hopefully you know how to swim in gta because these life preservers that you might see around the map yeah they don't float they'll just sing allegedly the world record for the fastest time someone ever completed the diamond casino ice is like a minute and 44 seconds by coming to this location you can actually melt cars by kind of just wedging it in between this guardrail i didn't get a super good attempt today but in the past i've got some pretty good ones that like full-on melt your car the rarest car in the game is actually the space vehicle and you can get it pretty easily by just bookmarking this job then playing the job and i don't know why but it is this job just spawns in the 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 i forget what it's called but it spawns it in and you can drive it around and it's sick by getting a two-star wanted level and coming to this island you can actually get unlimited rp because you just kind of keep losing the cops then gaining the cops if you shoot your up an atomizer and every time you lose the cops you gain a I think like 200 RP and you could do this forever theoretically by bookmarking this job you can kind of mod cop cars pretty much all you got to do is just bookmark the job and then select a car that's modded then when you load in those mods somehow transfer over to a cop car it's kind of cool no matter how fast you're going if you just pull up your story mode wheel switch to a story mode character and then deny the alert you'll just instantly stop by going into any car and switching unarmed then trying to hold your hand out the window it will actually roll the window down when priority plans come in the game there's actually a little glitch that'll let you get on bikes and oppressor marks too as an animal which is really funny you can teleport to any job in the game by simply going on your map picking the job you want to start click the button to start it up then quickly disconnect your controller then reconnect your controller and just like that you'll have teleported to wherever that job was there's actually a ton of different glitch pants that are called joggers in gta and you can do a ton of glitches to get these in a ton of different colors like white white, pink, 
blue, you name it. You're not supposed to be able to, but there is ways where you can actually put F1 or Benny's wheels on the RC Bandito, which is pretty funny looking. There's jobs like this one that are perfect for increasing your KD. Pretty much you just started up and since you're host, it spawns you really close to a ton of weapons. Then you could just spawn kill all these other random people and your KD will go flying as well as you get a good amount of RP. It can be a little difficult, but there's ways to make your jet or any plane really kind of invisible. As of filming this video, there are 746 different vehicles in GTA. To become level 8,000, it would take 1 billion 700 million RP. The Stanley Tractor is one of the rarest cars in GTA Online, and the only way to get it is by becoming level 1,000 in Arena, which is almost impossible. There's actually ways in GTA that people have figured out to get what are called JD Ruthless verified tags, I believe, for your outfit names, kind of like what you're seeing here, which look pretty cool. When you complete the Diamond Casino Heist, by quickly resetting your game, it'll actually make it so you don't have to redo any of the setups. You can just keep replaying the heist. When normally flying the Oppressor Mark II, it caps out at 108 miles per hour. But when you press the button to put the wings in, it actually goes up to 130 miles an hour. By coming to this location and putting a car right in front of this gas station, you can actually get on the car and then jump through the roof of the gas station and get inside of this little weird looking glitched interior. This bike called the gargoyle actually has a little speed glitch that all you have to do is just hold a wheelie and the bike will go way faster than it's normally supposed to you can manually save your game by simply just changing your outfit and then in the bottom right you'll see the saving symbol you can actually put a pearlescent on a matte color by just putting on whatever matte color you want then scrolling through all the different pearlescent options for a couple seconds back out change your license plate to literally anything else but what you have it on go back to pearlescent and for some reason it'll let you put one on at the time of recording this, it is three months away from the 10 year anniversary of GTA Online, so be ready for something cool, hopefully. The Oppressor Mark II is one of the most overpowered vehicles in all of GTA, but when it first came out, it was even worse, and it's been nerfed like five times since its release. GTA is built using RAGE, which stands for Rockstar Advanced Game Engine. When Rockstar added the first person aspect to GTA, they had to create over 3,000 new animations just for weapons. If you go to this location and try to go up the ladder for some reason you just can't fit through the hole i don't know you can actually make your way to the character creation screen by using this little weird glitch all you got to do is first come to this location then make your way in here then do a little under the map glitch and you kind of have to just gasp but you kind of jump and then hope you just magically land in the character creation screen gta 5 online actually didn't launch the same day as story mode it launched two weeks later on october 1st 2013 there's actually some people that still don't know that by pressing right or left on the d-pad you can actually skip pages on your phone this one's pretty simple but there's some people that still don't know it there's a tow truck in gta story mode that you actually cannot get in gta online that they probably took out for like trolling reasons or something if you come to this location and just wait for the train you can actually get in certain different little train cards for some reason shark card sales must have been down or something because recently rockstar actually buffed the amount of money you get for the same price with shark cards there's actually a ton of rare cars in gta that you can't buy but you can do random things to find around the map such as the dubsta or the fib buffalo and there's plenty more if you come to this location you'll see a little open garage door and if you run into it with a dirt bike it'll actually send your dirt bike flying for some reason i don't really know what this means but according to the internet one us dollar is equal to 75 million gta dollars so, okay we'll, we'll, we'll take it buying everything in GTA that would cost 820 million dollars roughly buying every weapon in the game though it only cost 1.1 million and with that being said that's it for today's video so let me know what you guys learned